Hi children, welcome back to our geography class. So today we will be continuing the second part of your agriculture lesson. Okay. So in the first part we saw what are the different economic activities and what are the different cultivation techniques or methods. So in this part, this we see about the first fiber crop which is called cotton. What is the first fiber crop? Cotton. Okay. So cotton grows well in black and alluvial soil. Soil, black and alluvial. Is it clear? They grow well in black and so cotton grows well in black and alluvial soil. What is the soil? Black and alluvial. Is it clear? They grow well in black and alluvial soil. Okay. So coming to the climate, they require high temperature, okay, high temperature, low rainfall, low rain and 210 frost free days, okay. What is it? 210 frost free days with medium sunshine. Is it clear? So this is the climatic condition for the Cultivation of cotton. Okay. Now we shall see the region or area where they are cultivated. Okay. So the regions are China, USA, India. Okay. Which are the three regions? China, USA and India. Okay. And you know cotton is the main raw material for your cotton textile industry. Okay. So your second one is called jute. What is the second fiber crop? Jute. Okay. So jute is otherwise called golden fiber. What is it otherwise called as? Golden fiber. Okay. Jute is otherwise called as golden fiber. They grow well in alluvial soil. What is the soil? Alluvial soil. Is it clear? And they require high temperature, heavy rainfall and humidity. Okay. The temperature will be high temperature, heavy rainfall and humidity. Okay. And the places where your jute is cultivated is India and Bangladesh. Which are the two places? India and Bangladesh. Okay. So that is all about your jute. Okay. Now we are going to see about your next topic. That is beverage crop. Okay. The first one is coffee. What is the first beverage crop? Coffee. Coffee when it comes to the soil. They require well drained loamy soil. What is it? Well drained loamy soil. Okay. Loamy, loamy soil. So coming to the climate, they require warm and wet climate. Okay, what is it? Warm and wet climate. And it is mostly suitable in hilly areas or hilly slopes. Okay. And the region where it is cultivated is Brazil is the leading producer of coffee, which is in Brazil, followed by India. Okay. Brazil and India are the two other main producers of coffee. Okay. The next one is your tea. What is the next one? Tea. Okay. Coming to the soil, they require well-drained loamy soil and gentle slopes. Okay. Loamy soil with slopes. Is it clear? Okay. Now, Coming to your climate, they require cool climate and well distributed rainfall throughout the year. So that the leaves, the tender leaves, new leaves comes out. Okay. You know, the leaf is the yield what you get from your tea. So in order to plant that, you need to require a lot of labors. Okay. So the places where they are cultivated are Kenya, India, China. Okay. Kenya, India and China. Is it clear? So now shall we have a recap of this one? 
Okay, so we saw there are two types of fiber crops. They are cotton and jute. So cotton requires black alluvial soil and they require high temperature, low rain and 210 days, 210 frost free days and bright sunshine. And the region where they are cultivated are China, USA and India. The second fiber crop is called jute. So jute is otherwise called golden fiber. What is jute otherwise called? Golden fiber. So the soil is alluvial soil. The climate is in a high temperature and rain. Places are India and Bangladesh. Next two are your beverage crops. The first one is coffee. So coffee requires well-drained loamy soil. The climate is warm and wet. Places are Brazil and India. And the last one is tea. So tea requires low, well-drained loamy soil and it is requires gentle slopes. The climate is cool and well-distributed rainfall throughout the year. Places are Kenya, India and China. So with this, the major crops title is over. So your last title is Agriculture Development. What is the title? Agriculture Development. Agriculture Development refers to the efforts taken to improve your farm production or increase your farm production to meet the growing demand of increasing population. Okay. So this agriculture development can be increased by increasing your crop area. Okay, first thing you can increase your crop area. Second thing, cultivating different crops. Okay, third, using high yielding variety seeds. Okay, which gives you more yield. Improving your irrigation facilities. Using more manures and fertilizers. And the last one is using mechanization, using more machines. So the labor will be less, the work will be done very fast. Okay. So by using all these methods, you can increase your production. Thus achieving the goal to meet the increasing population demand. Is it clear? So now we are just going to compare two field, one farm of India and a farm in USA. Okay. So when you take India, it consists of 1.5 hectares. But when you take a farmland in USA, it consists of 250 hectares. Is it clear? So here the volume of land is very less. There the volume of land is very big. Okay. The second thing, here we use simple machines. And in USA, farmers use modern methods of agriculture. That is precision farming, greenhouse cultivation. But in India, they use the local methods of missionaries and when you take the mechanization you have much improved machines in USA but in India you do not have that much improvement in the machines and in India a farmer work as a peasant in the field but when you take USA the landlord the farmer is a complete businessman he is the head of that business and he is acting as a complete businessman these are the two comparisons between a farmland in India and US. Is it clear? So with this, our second part in agriculture is also over. Hope it is understood. If anybody have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and click the bell button. So whenever I upload and upload a video, you will be getting the notification. Stay safe and be happy children. Thank you.